Hey everyone, this is Marche, and I am back with my third quarter flip through in my work planner. So I'm trying to think, July, August, okay. I'm trying to make sure I don't go past three months because y'all know I will go past three months in a minute. All right, so here is my washi dashboard that I made with an, um, a set of washi that I got from Michaels long, long time ago. And then on here, I'll, on this side, I do washi dashboard and then I'll do like a page of just random stickers usually. And the only sticker that I put on here is this Our Bodies, Our Choice, Our Rights, Pro Woman, Pro, pro Choice. And this is from, um, Sugar Pop Fizz. She released these in two colorways um, for charity after the whole ridiculousness with the Supreme Court. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So had to buy these and support the cause because that was just wild. Anyway, let's get into the monthly. So speaking of Sugar Pop Fizz, here is um, one of her $2 tuesday collections this is the summer one and it is just so cute i like to use them for my monthly spreads and i just paired it with some simply gilded washi but yeah you're gonna see me do this a few times in this planner i just love how this came out it's just so fun and bright and then we get into a tailor-made creative planning kit and this is one of her old ones. I hope that she reformats this because this is just gorgeous. And I paired it with some Alicia Craft foil and her patriotic foil, which is just one of my favorites. So fun. Obsessed. So yeah, this is just my work planner where, you know, I'm doc kind of with a mix of like some home things going on. So I went to therapy this week. I had an air conditioning appointment. You guys are probably going to hear my um, work laptop go off in the back. I had a therapy appointment. My air conditioner broke down this week. And you know how that can be in these Georgia summers. And went to Starbucks, had some groceries delivered. Uh, was I out of town? Oh yeah, I was out of town and I came back on this day. So how cute is that travel sticker from Belia Tuma? Love her. And yeah, just got back into the groove of things. So yeah, I love this kit. And then we get into my first kit from Planning with Manny, I believe is the shop name. And I just paired it with some Simply Gilded Bow Washi. The metallic bows are my favorite. I haven't been following Simply Gilded. Well, I follow her, but I don't look at her stuff enough for it to pop up on my feed. So I don't know if they've released any more metallic bows. I need to go over there and see. So we have some metallic bows and then the Drip Washi is from Cookie Sugar Co., of course. But yeah, this is my first Planning with Manny kit. Had to have it because macaroni and cheese is my all-time favorite food ever since I was a kid. And macaroni and cheese day was on Thursday, July the 14th. And I just commemorated it with this kit. And super, super cute. And then, of course, had to pair it with my favorite underlays from Plana Anna. The, um, from Plana Hannah, my bad. The cutlery underlays, and I got those in like her dark blue. And then these headers are, I don't even know where I got the headers from. Maybe I set the name in my um, kit lineup, but I don't know. And then this week was also ice cream, National Ice Cream Day. I've been trying to do like a kit for National Ice Cream Day for a couple years now. So anyway, besides having a busy work week, I was using these C Amy Jaw stickers to mark that I was booked and busy with lots of appointments. But besides that, I had a lot of good times. I went to my first pottery class this weekend in the farmer's market and like a cool restaurant and then started, I don't know if I started, but I was watching that Resident Evil show on Netflix that came out this year. So yeah, this was a good week. Then we get into another 
Sugar Pop Fizz Kit. And this artwork, I think, was this by Darcy? I think so. But loved it. Paired it with some smiley face underlays from Happy Sticker Designs. And you guys know that all of my coupon codes are down below. And I do have one from them. So use Marche 15 to save. This bottom washi overlay is from Planet Hannah with the smiley faces in hollow. Love that. So more busy work things i think i did okay so maybe i did my public loan forgiveness application on this day possibly oh and then i got sick mm -hmm. i had a car appointment and then yeah this was the week that i was sick it was just a mess and finished resident evil and started blood sisters which is another mini series on netflix and also watched gray man and p valley y'all i love me some p valley then we have to have a Harry Potter kit for Harry Potter's birthday. Um, every year I make sure I do one in at least one of my planners. So this one, I don't remember the name of this Pink Popsicle Studio. Got it, got it. And I am so mad because they started doing these kits, um, one for every book. And then I think they stopped at like three because like copyright and all that good stuff. But I wanted them to complete the whole series. So this week, it was my uncle's birthday, my best friend's wedding anniversary. Um, got some work done per usual. Payday, of course. Harry Potter's birthday. Happy birthday, Harry. Um, and then I spent some time with family and went to go see Nope, which was not... Just, it just was a nope for me. Everybody's like, how was nope? And I'm like, nope was a no. Um, and then Tiff from Plan On It um, underscore 39 came over and we had some planning time. And I was watching this series on HBO called Love Life, which is amazing. Highly recommend. Each, each season follows a different character. And right now there are two episodes, two seasons out, my bad. <laughs> two seasons out, so very very cute so then we get to our august dashboard which is another set of washi from michael's back in the day you know i've been using these washi dashboards to try to get rid of this washi y'all that i just had to have back in the day and then over here i just have all these random like little mist stickers that from made with southern love use my coupon code below and I just thought these were so freaking cute. And she gave, um, she let the PR team pick theirs and mine's this little Miss Homebody. And then she gave them um, all to us as freebies. But these were just so fun. So, so fun. And then we have another monthly featuring Sugar Pop Fizz $2 Tuesday stickers. I am ready off to see what collections she comes up with for 2023. I have already submitted an idea for one that I really hope that she does. And if she does, it'll be within the first three months. So make sure you're following her or following me so that you can be in the loop. But this is the back to school collection. Um, she had two colorways and this is the one that I chose because yellow is my favorite color. And then pink and yellow is just a vibe. So, marked all the major things. August is a birthday heavy month in my family. So, I had to mark all the birthdays and just highlights of the semester. Just love, love, love how this one came out. So, then we have um, this gorgeous kit from Birch and Birdie, which just makes me so happy. It is foiled and hollow. And I believe Birch and Birdie is no longer open. She had like a big Black Friday sale out to get rid of some things. Nice little blowout sale, but gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I wanted to use this kit to start off August and I went and for planner day, you know, I treated myself, got a pedicure and my eyebrows done and took a nap. Like, was I off work? <laughs> I must have been on a little mini vacay. And so then got some cleaning done, watching more Love Life. Not working. I think I was on I had to be on vacation because y'all I ain't marking no. Okay, I was working on this day at least. 
I'm like, and at what time did you work this week? Oh, these quotes in the sidebar are from Made With Southern Love, and I use the same ones a lot because I think I submitted these. So be petty and clap back, and then when they go low, take it to the flow. So if you work in education, <laughs> you just need some good laughs to get you through sometimes. So, yes, this is cute. Oh, and then I had some, like, leftover icons from, like, a Scribble Prince Co. Rainbow bundle yeah that I was using over here so this is I'm pretty sure my first time using a kit from happy sticker designs use my shade 15 to save and I paired it with this rainbow like sequin foil bundle from scribble prince co and like that original format that she had loved it had to get it because bright colors I love me some fruit this was just perfect summer time kit Here's my little petty quote right there on my sidebar. <laughs> and then this girl is from Goldmine and Coco, I believe. Yeah, I be getting all my dolls from like these stash at Planner events. <laughs> Shout out to my Planner friends. <laughs> because I swear, I think I've only ordered like four dolls. Um, But I have so many because of my Planner friends. So yeah, this is cute. It was my nephew's birthday. Things were getting super, super busy because school was about to start. So it was just like chaos, but it was my nephew's birthday, then my best friend's birthday. Um, and then I had this day off. So I went and got my hair done, shaved, cleaned. Then we had a little planner meetup. This was Tiff's anniversary um, from Plan the Love and Light Charms, which is owned by Tiff from Plan On It underscore 39. She had her like one year anniversary of planner meetups and maybe her shop and it was a good time. So we did that. And then afterwards, me and some of the ladies went to Johnny's Chicken and Waffles. And then I came home and had some more planning time. So this was a good weekend and then watched some more Love Life. So then this week from My Newest Addiction, is um when house of dragon started i wanted to call it game of thrones so bad but when the game of thrones spinoff house of dragon started and i was all up in laura laura's the owner of my newest addiction i was in her inbox for months like okay ma'am let's make sure that we have a kit <laughs> For House of Dragon, pretty please, pretty please, because she did some gorgeous Game of Thrones kits, and I was like, I mean, Adam, like, could we at least get a re-release, if anything? But she came through and got gave us a whole new kit, and then re-released a couple of other ones, which I should go pick up. So anyway, this week was just chaos week. Um, this is the week before school started, so it went down this week. We do something called um open advisement because it's just too many students to have appointments okay and then updated my laptop watched some more p valley oh y'all i watched what is it serrano i think that's how it's pronounced y'all i was obsessed obsessed and serrano has um or is it serrano um Tyrion from game of thrones is the lead in that and it's just a beautiful movie. Like, if you don't have nothing to watch, go and watch that because it's gorgeous. And if you like period pieces, you'll probably like it. And musicals. Gorgeous. Um, oh, I think I started my winemaking class this week, which was so fun. I made my own Moscato, and it was good. And then I went to my favorite cupcake shop and just had a good time and then watched Game of Thrones. No, House of Dragon, y'all. House of Dragon. So then, this is the week that the fall semester officially started. So, it was week two of pure chaos. Pure chaos. <laughs> so, but we had this nice, fun kit. So, this kit is from Paper Candy Art. And I love that they keep their kits, unless it's seasonal. Um, They keep their kits in shop for, like, a long long time because when I tell you I looked at this bad boy for over a year before I actually bought it Whew, shout, shout out to them so I paired this with some gold hollow underlays from Planner Hannah the ABC 
love 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 those and then what did i do this weekend oh we had like a little um what did we do we went to the drive-in and basically had like a picnic at the drive-in and we went to go see beast which was a hot mess <laughs> with idris elba <laughs> y'all it was a mess i was like why are we even seeing this right now like why are we spending money on this movie but we did and we had us a nice little family time that weekend and then i i don't think i did a lot of this yeah got ready for the upcoming week so then we have the washi dashboard for September. And this washi dashboard is featuring another set of washi from Michaels. <laughs> Y'all, like, I was using my stash this year. You cannot say I wasn't using it <laughs> because these washi sets were getting utilized. Okay, so then we have lots of stickers from C. Amy Draw. Just so cute. I still haven't seen Turning Red. That's the, what is it, Panda? Um, Love, love, love her stickers. Yeah, all these are from C. Amy Draw. Love her. And coupon code below. You can use Merche 10 to save. And then this is from C. Amy Draw, too. I used one of her... Um, I think like a journaling kit with like a large deco sheet from her zero, was it the zero to hero or the, I think it was called the Muses collection, which I just fell out when I saw that she did a whole collection dedicated to the Muses. Cause like, I mean, if you watch Hercules, we know who make the movie, okay? And it was the Muses. <laughs> so I had to get this. And then it also came in like several formats of a kit and I got the vertical one. So you'll see that. You'll see that spread at some point. I may have to hoard it for a while because like gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So yeah, just paired this with some Simply Gilded foiled purple washi. Because you know, those foiled, foiled bowls are my favorite, my favorite. September is another birthday heavy week in my family. So lots and lots of birthdays. And this is like the calm after the storm as far as work. So I was kind of chilling this week. But I did finish making my wine this month, which I'll mark. All right. So my first Let's Plan It kit. I'm pretty sure that's who this is by. And completely fell in love with this when I saw it. Like just a nice little retro 90s kit love the colors this like vhs bottom washi is just epic it's just super super cute so i had to do that went to my wine class that was very much the highlight of the week and then work was just chill for the most part i this was not supposed to be here this spread but i like put it on the wrong week yeah it happens except for when it happens to me unless it is dramatically dramatically words okay <laughs> unless it is just like a super event type situation i'm gonna just let it be like i am not about to pick up no stickers y'all like i'm just gonna make it work so if i'm laying down a summer kit in the middle of the winter we just gonna have a summer kit in the winter like, i'm lazy <laughs> i am not picking up a bunch of stickers but shout out to y'all that have the patience to do that because y'all are the real MVPs. So this was a Labor Day week. Got some sticker shopping in, meal prepped. Um, Shanice's birthday was either this day or this, oh, was on the 9th. And then we went to her birthday lunch. I don't know why I marked it as a dinner. We went to celebrate her birthday on Saturday. And Shanice is from Planners and Tacos, if you didn't know. And then I went to this Pea Valley party. <laughs> which is so, it was really cute. Like, they had it all set up. They had this stripper pose in a living room. When you walked in, there was, like, fake money all over the floor. <laughs> and they had, yeah, it was cute. It was cute. But everybody was like, what? kind of party you went to the pea valley party it was it was definitely an experience so i watched end of the road which was um interesting i think that was the one with queen latifah and Ludacris. it was entertaining 
I did not watch Pinocchio. I still need to watch that. And then, you know, definitely watched House of Dragon. Yeah, I enjoyed House of Dragon. So I don't think, a, well, I feel like I've been hearing mixed reviews, but I got my entire life from House of Dragon. What I will say about it is the younger actress for, what's her name? Emma? Like, I liked her portrayal more than the adult actress. So when I saw the adult one, I was just like, mm, this ain't making sense to me, but they both did a good job, but I just preferred the younger actress. I feel like they had completely different vibes. So this is a birthday week. This is an old Caress Press mystery kit that I was obsessed with and got from, I think, I bought it off somebody basically, but I was obsessed with this. And this was back when she was doing like dual mysteries where it was like, switch out these four boxes and it could be a birthday kit. Switch them out again and it could be a diner kit. So that was a fun time, fun, fun time. So yeah, this is old school. Use this for my um, grandma and aunt's birthdays. And then lots of... I feel like every other week I'm getting pedicures at this point. <laughs> it's like, how many pedicures did you get, girl? So pedicure, eyebrows therapy, hair appointment, listen to a podcast. Um, went to go see Woman King, which was amazing. Had a board game night. Board game night. We played Life Meant Life Crisis. Life is my all-time favorite board game. I am here for all the variations. I'm just here for it. Library Run, made an Alicia Crafts order. Ooh, I think this was her, Alicia Crafts. I think this was her birthday sale. Y'all, this was like the most banging sale, <laughs> foil sale that I shopped. Wait, if you shop Alicia Crafts, then you know that that sale was banging where you had to find the codes and stuff. I placed three different orders. So I probably shopped this day too. I was getting my shop on. It was a good time. I was watching, I have Lord of the Rings here, but the Rings of Power show, which is really good as well. Um, I don't think I, nope, I have it. I still have two episodes, y'all. And I'm like kicking myself because I watch all these videos and everybody are like, oh my gosh, it was amazing. It was the best thing I ever watched, the, the finale. And you would think that would encourage me to watch the last two episodes, but it has not. I don't know. Maybe I'm dragging it out. We'll see if I finish it before the end of the year. We have another paper candy art kit. This is like rare that I get their premium matte, but it was gorgeous. I just decided that this art needed to be in premium matte. Because this was my favorite fall art of 2021. And so I had to get it and save it to use this year. Absolutely gorgeous. I think I have another kit with this art. But this art was just epic. I forgot who, maybe, was it Celsi Studio? I don't know how to pronounce it. But her work is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So just working. My dad turned 55 had a birthday party and then this was bottling day for my wine making class so that was like the most fun ever and then we went and got burritos and the next day i went to visit my dad and watch more house of the dragon oh and then abbott elementary season two came out i need to catch up on that so then we have a scribble prince co halloween kit this one is based off of um hocus pocus but from this the kids perspective really really cute kit and i am an spc affiliate so you can use my shade 10 to save and yeah this is really cute had to use this to mark hocus pocus 2 which i still have not watched <laughs> but i did three whole spreads for this movie and I still haven't watched it, but I will. I will watch it. Um, but Hocus Pocus is my second favorite Halloween movie of all time. The first one is The Haunted Mansion. Love, love, love. Um, I used orange, like hippie, I don't know, psychedelic underlays from Planet Hannah. Just, 
just love this kit. So this day, oh, okay. So what happened was bottling day got canceled or like, re, yeah, rescheduled. So we actually did it on this day and then we went to the car wash and took a nap. And then we went to this arcade, watched more House of Dragon and finished Carrie Soto which is a book by Taylor Jenkins Reid, who is just, she can do no wrong in my book. Um, if you are interested, listen. If you plan on reading Carrie Soto, listen.